Say this is a little JavaScript program. It's executing synchronously, imperatively, one step at a time, nice and simple. With every program, you get one path of execution. Starts at the top, goes on down. So we say hello, and then we're gonna read the config, and the program stops until the config is read. Here we're gonna gather some data, and we get it, and then we pass the data and the config into this construct report function, which selects the relevant pieces of data and puts them together and pops them out as a report. And then we pass that to make recommendations, which puts them on standard out and whoosh, off we go. Vroom. Vroom. What if we did that with promises? So we didn't have to wait for read config to read a file or gather data to make network calls. Our program could keep going. We take our one free path of execution that every program comes with, but promises actually give us additional paths of execution. So read config isn't going to return the information. Instead, it splits off a new path of execution and it returns a promise, which is the end of the string. And that string is eventually going to produce a config. The same thing with gather data. When it makes a promise, it splits off a new path of execution, which eventually will come up with some data. But in the meantime, our function returns immediately and it returns the end of the string. Then when we go to construct report, we can pass the ends of the string into the construct report function. So it ties its processing onto the end of both the config and the data. It needs both of those values in order to do its work. Construct report returns the end of the string. We pass that into make recommendations and make recommendations ties its processing onto the end of that string. This is easier for the promises library than it is for me with yarn. Eventually, the config comes through from the file, the data comes through from the network, construct reports code, puts those together and produces the report and passes it into the code, added and make recommendations, which sticks them on the little car and whoosh, off we go. The program doesn't exit until all the paths of execution have finished their work. With promises, we get to decide which bits of code wait on which other bits of code instead of everything waiting on everything else in the single order that it occurs in the source code.